months. Sometimes they don't give you a pay. And sometimes you get forced out of your job to find another job. You don't speak the language. It's so hard. You don't have a vehicle. You have to take taxi, bus from place to place. You walk by faith just like Abraham. And you come together, together as a church to pray for your nation, for your country, for the people of the earth so they can receive all the peace and life abundantly. Jesus loves you. You are strong. You're brave. You're courageous. And that's why Jesus Christ, He came to heal you. He came to deliver you, to save you. The whole part of your miracle. The mi you couldn't pay off your debts. You have lost your jobs or your job is not paying off. Financial problems, family problems, husband, wife problems, children problems. All those, you come and you can walk out with a big miracle. With your blessings. Tonight. You come here tonight, you're sick. Your children sick. You have a lot of depression, anxiety, worry. worry. Something happened, an accident, or something, something's not going right. No matter what you do, something's not right. Tonight, Jesus answers you. Yes. Just need to reach out like the blind man, Bartimaeus, on the roadside. You need to cry out to Jesus Christ. Amen. If he doesn't hear you the first time, call louder. Yes. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And he will stop and he will call you over and he will say, what would you like for me to do for you? You say, I would like to see. Open my spiritual eyes so I can see all the good things that you have for me because I am an heir of God. And everything God has belongs to you. Don't let the enemy lie to you any longer. Don't let the devil who is a thief, uh, he steals, kills, and destroys. Don't let Satan, steal your joy, steal your peace, steal your finances, steal your family, your children. Don't allow. How do we do that? We pray. Pray. Prayer is powerful. It's the most powerful force, energy in the universe. And, that, and God has given that to you and me as a church to pray there is no limit with prayer even a simple a frail person through prayer become in the will of God so powerful powerful an ordinary man like Elijah he prayed earnestly in for three and a half years, there's no rain. He prayed again, and the heavens opened up, and the rain came down for the crops and the land. Yes, we hear about prophets Moses, Elijah, Elijah, Ezekiel, Jeremiah. All the prophets in there. You, you can do all that. Because now you have the Old Testament and the New Testament. Back then, they had only the Old Testament back then. Now we have both. The New Testament teaches about who you are. Teaches about who your father is. The Old Testament teaches about God's heart. Now you know who you are. You know who your father is. He's big. You have, Jesus gave you the power to st step over shipping and scoopings. And all the power of the enemy, nothing shall banish from you or your family. All you need to do is just trust in God. What is trust? Faith is trust. You have to... You have to... Build that trust. Complete trust. Yes. Complete trust. We like must let go of pride, of jealousy, of envious. We must let go of hatred, anger. Dump it out of our hearts. Arguing, fighting, strife. Get out of our hearts. Gossiping out of our hearts. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 31, 32, we must get rid of all malice, all anger, slandering, evil speaking. Be kind and compassionate.
compassionate to one another. Forgive each other just as God forgive us through Lord Jesus Christ. So dump it out out of your heart right now so you can receive your miracle. You have that bill, $300 bills, and you cannot pay for it. God can provide it for you. He'll pay your bill. You have a bill that's a thousand, five thousand dollar bill. You cannot pay for it. Jesus can pay for it. But you first, you must get rid of grudges, anger, bitterness out of your hearts. So his spirit, the Holy Spirit can come and live inside and fill your heart a hundred folds. Hallelujah. Now, I need one person, demonstration of God's power. Anybody with back pain, headaches, neck pain, shoulder pain, leg pain, uh, chest pain, stomach pain, any, anything like that, raise your hand. Sister, come up here. So, uh, uh, where's the pain? Can you point to it? Stomach pain. How long have you been having a stomach pain? It's been over a year now. It's been over, over a year. What did the doctor diagnose you with? Reflux, I said reflux, GERD, gastroesophageal uh, reflux. Is there any pain right now? Yes. Zero, no pain, 10, very bad, five, middle, how much? Like seven. Seven, that's pretty severe. Do you believe Jesus Christ can heal you right now? Right now? Not tomorrow, not later. Right now. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you believe 90% or 100%? 100%. She believes 100%. Do you believe Jesus can heal her? Do you believe Jesus can heal her? I believe. In Matthew chapter 18, verse 19, the Bible says it takes two people only. You, I believe, our Father will do it. And also two or three gathered together his name. That means all of us. Yes. So put your hand right there. Look at Jesus Christ. Remember, Jesus looked up to heaven that means you look up to Jesus Christ don't think about your stomach that's it that's the key don't think about your troubles don't think about your business don't think about anything just look at Jesus Christ I will look at Jesus Christ too I'm not a healer I'm a, a believer you are a believer and Jesus Christ the great physician will heal you She's, she knows it's fine. <laughs> 